football, share tables, and mental health. On to today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Letard, and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. Hey Novi, have you ever heard of a student mental health committee? We talked to some officers about what the committee is. SMHC is a group of students who want to raise awareness for mental wellness and we want to improve the overall mental wellness of the school and we're trying to break the stigma around mental health. The goals of our committee is to organize events that really just increase the well-being of the school and increase the overall positivity in our school. So every meeting we usually go over a slideshow and then maybe a mini lesson about like a specific mental health thing that we want the students or student body to know and then we usually start planning our events and other things that we want to see happen around the school. So some of the events we did last year were therapy dogs at lunches, we did hot chocolate in the mornings for all students for free, we did small gifts that we handed out such as like fortune cookies or like wristbands or stickers. So we have meetings every other Monday in the counseling room and you you guys can join our group meet and follow our Instagram and we have um, updates posted on the Student Life webpage. If you're interested, you can follow their Instagram and come to their meeting after school on Monday in Counseling Conference Room A. Hope to see you there. Come, come and join, join us, us at our next, next meeting. meeting. What's up, Novi? Our school got some new additions to the cafeteria and our lunch menu this week. We're going to go talk to some NHS staff to find out more. Hi, my name is Kim Sinclair. I'm the Food Service Director here for Novi Community School District. We are Chartwells. We are a food service management company. We basically go into all school districts to make sure that we can help elevate the food program that each school district has. The share table is a table that we have put in the cafeteria so that all students, if they take a banana and they decide they don't really want it, they can leave it on this table and then any students who are staying after for band or a uh, team sport or a club can come to this table and take whatever is sitting here at no charge. All students have to get a fruit or a vegetable with their meal in order for it to be free. Students are more than welcome to take an entree without a fruit or a vegetable, but they have to pay for that meal then. We want to make sure students also know that you don't have to take a milk with a meal. So if you're not going to drink the milk, please don't take it. You just, the government says that you have to take a fruit and or vegetable with your meal. My name is Susan Rudnick and I'm the executive chef for the district of Novi. I'm here to talk about the Global Eats station that we have here at the high school. It features all different cultures, countries, different cuisines, and it's all made from scratch, so it's really good stuff. So far we've done Mexico, Italy, and India, and we have three other countries that we're going to visit in the next few months. One of them that's coming up is Caribbean, and next Thursday here in the cafeteria on the 7th, we're going to do a throwdown between Jamaica and Puerto Rico. We're going to have Jamaican jerk chicken and Puerto Rican chicken fricassee as the two features, and you can come taste it, and then you can vote on your favorite, and it'll pop up on our menu when we have Caribbean on our menu. Be on the lookout for next week's Caribbean Throwdown. And I think Jalen Milrow is not going to make the throws he needs to make. Give me Georgia on this one. Fourth and 31. I don't care. What's up, Novi, and welcome back to Conference Championship Week at College Game Day. Starting off with the Big Ten Championship, Michigan against Iowa in Indianapolis. This is Michigan's first game back with their glorious King Jim Harbaugh, and they're going to be Iowa by a lot of points. Give me Michigan. I would love Iowa to win this game, but... They're not going to because Michigan's way better. I'm going to give Iowa some credit. Their defense is one of the best in the country, but their offense is super bad, and Michigan is going to eat them alive. Give me Michigan. Next game we have is the ACC championship between Florida State and Louisville. Florida State's without a solidified quarterback right now, and after Louisville lost to Kentucky last week in their rivalry game, give me the Cardinals to take home the ACC championship. Jordan Travis is out for the season with an ankle injury. Day Rodmaker came in last week to play Florida. He did okay. They got the win. 
Uh, Trey Benson did most of the work. I think he will do most of the work again this week. Give me the Seminoles. I really hope Florida State doesn't win this game, but I do think they're going to find a way to win because I don't think Louisville's very good. So give me Florida State in this one. Next game we have is the Big 12 championship between Oklahoma State and Texas. I don't even think this one's particularly close. Oklahoma State got blown out by UCF. The Longhorns are going to win this one by a lot. Texas has a chance to make the college football playoff. This is the first step for them. Give me the Longhorns. It always seems like the Big 12 championship is a very close game. I don't I don't think it's going to change this year, but give me the Longhorns in this one. Next game we have is the SEC championship between Georgia and Alabama. You can't get much better than that. Two great teams on both sides of the ball, but as I've been saying all year, Georgia's the best team in the country, so give me the Bulldogs. This game is always mostly TV. NFL stars on both sides of the ball for both teams, but until Georgia proves mortal, they're not going to lose. Give me the Bulldogs. I think this game is going to come down to which quarterback makes more plays, but I think Carson Beck is going to make more throws throws and I think Jalen Milrow is not going to make the throws he needs to make. Give me Georgia in this one. Last game of the week between Oregon and Washington in the Pac-12 championship airs tonight as game of the week and if you would have asked me what would have been game of the year I would not have told you this game but I think it is. Give me the Huskies to take home the Pac-12 championship and make the playoff. Yeah like Berlin said uh, this is game of the year. We already got this game a little bit earlier in the season. Washington won. It's very hard to beat the same team twice. Give me the Ducks in this one. If you weeks ago these two played and it was an instant classic i think they're going to do it again uh, washington took that game and i think they're going to do it again give me the huskies well that will conclude our conference championship episode of college game day again let us know if you want to be featured and we'll see you next week nova do you have a story that you want featured on the cat's eye news email us at nhscatsinews at gmail.com just send us details pictures and videos and we'll do the rest